Good morning. Another beautiful morning from the Appalachian Trail. We're still in Georgia, but hopefully that won't last long. So we're going to get packed up, get some breakfast, and hit the trail. Let's see what I can bring for you today. So right there, you just saw an example of what the Appalachian Trail is all about. That was absolutely beautiful. They're Native American father-son. The son will turn 19 on my trash rat's birthday, April 23rd. Good people, good people. But see, I heard people not enjoying the trip. I'm not going to say not enjoying. They're just pushing the miles, crushing the miles, crushing the miles. And yes, miles are important. I know they are. But these little moments, these little moments like this are precious, once in a lifetime, cannot be replaced anywhere else. And so I may not be crushing the miles, but man, am I collecting memories and experiences beyond just walking a trail. That's what the Appalachian Trail is about, and that's what my plan is to experience. So what a beautiful morning. This is what I get to wake up to. I lost Oki, so I'm going to wait a couple of minutes because she is um, texting her husband. But we have um, a gradual, sometimes that's just as much as killing, incline for most of the day. So this is at Blue Mountain, or Blue Ridge Mountain. So they gradually bring you up and bring you up and bring you up and bring you up. But that continuous gradual tail on the calves first thing in the morning. I didn't get a good enough stretch in, so we'll see. Now look at this. This is my mornings. tell you that we're just totally blessed by what we see so we're walking we've seen some little ones of these we haven't even gone very far this is like our third waterfall that we've seen so far today and it just it's just coming down the mountains coming down the rocks we got to cross over it then it goes on down and keeps on going and yeah I was like I said, most people are trying to put in the miles. We're putting in the memories. So you've heard me Here say this up. time and time and time again how Georgia has some of the most beautiful waterfalls and so many of them. And you know how I am with waterfalls. Just look at this. Let me see if I can get up closer. Because I know that my camera does not do this justice. But there's just so many and they're so beautiful. And I love waterfalls. So I always have to stop, look at them, reflect a little bit. They're so awesome. I just turned around to look for Oki. She stopped back there a bit and said, just go ahead. I don't know if she was texting or taking a picture. So now I'm walking backwards. Because I was just walking and walking and walking and realized that she's not coming yet. So I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. Make sure that she comes around that corner before I go any further. Because we are hiking together. And I don't want to leave her behind just in case something happens but while we're here take a look without the trees all growing in you get a pretty good view of the mountains up here so we are always up in the mountains every day we're up in these mountains it's absolutely gorgeous we started out today in the 60s that was at 7 30 this morning 
and um, it's warming up fast. Yesterday on this side of the mountain, we were getting beat by sunlight. Oh, here she comes. So I'm gonna keep on trekking, because I see her now. See that drop off right there? That is not the end of the trail, it drops off. It goes, we just came straight up that, and we could go down for a little bit straight up. So now we're starting the rocky part of climbing the Blue Ridge Mountains. And so that's what we're going to be doing for the next three and a half, four miles. Went 1,000, I think 800 feet elevation gain. So here we go. Okay. Camera does not do this justice. Oh, we just climbed. There's even a part that you can't see. Look at those little bugs running around. That was even further down there for half a mile straight up. I still have this little tiny bit, probably one tenth of a mile left. But it's taxing. Even I'm more experienced hikers. And let me tell you, we're getting it done one step at a time. Okay, I tried to get it before that little boy disappeared, but right now we are like ridge walking. We came across over there. Look at this. Uh, so we're walking the side of the mountain. We do have a breeze right now. It is a incline. Not a super, super big incline, but it is an incline because we're ridge walking to the top. The sun is coming out already. We're getting close to noon, about noonish. Sorry for my pulse clunking, my water bottle clunking. I wanted to get you guys some shots of the trail, kind of some shots of the area, so you can see what it looks like on this side of the Appalachian Trail. Okay, as you see Oki going through there, this trail is all rocks. So right now, see, AT trail. We're playing Billy Goat. We've had to come up. That's a little bit of rocks right there, but there's some bigger rocks back up there towards the back. And now we're going uphill. Rocks, rocks, rocks. So let me get off this and start Billy Goating myself up that hill. So. That was point eight of that um, rocky, rocky climb up that mountain. And that was the first time that I realized how dangerous hiking this trail could be. Um, we're never prepared, I guess. I don't know how we can prepare. Let me show you behind me. Let me behind me. Um, I, I hiked a lot of things. Y'all saw me hike, and I never found a place that was miles straight up with rock like that. So I don't know. How you prepare sorry I'm going uphill right now but um for those of you who are counting my mileage and saying well she ain't going very fast well climb 0.8 miles on a ledge full of boulders with a 30 pound back balancing that pack so you don't go over the ledge tell me that you can do it better but I'm not gonna be negative I'm gonna be smiley, be happy, because I'm out here. And I have an opportunity that other people don't have. And I'm gonna take advantage of that. One step at a time, one mile at a time. Hike my hike, nobody else's hike. And enjoy every moment of it. And that's what I'm gonna do. So let me get to the top of this hill right here. And um, I think we've got another three or four miles to go till we hit our plan for the day. And yes, we are a little bit behind on what we had planned, we had the setback with Oki stuff being stolen, so we had to take a short day to get her used to her new stuff, a little shakedown. Um, we got stuck in the rain, everything got wet, another short day. I messed my knee up on Blood Mountain, so we haven't been able to get our 10 miles in a day, but it is what it is, and we're getting miles in. So let me get to the top of this, maybe I can show you some pictures of Blue Mountain Ridge. Okay, Oki, what'd you think of that 0.7, 0.8 of all rocks straight up? That sucked. 
Big time. That was hard, and these flies are worse. But but being right on the edge like that too, trying to balance your pack with those, all those rocks weren't stable. No, no. He slipped a little bit. You couldn't, you couldn't completely stay on the rocks, and you had to kind of really watch your feet. I didn't even see what was around me until I got up here. And so, you know, we both have trained, different train, but we both have trained. I have never seen anything like that in my training, have you? Nope, and I haven't seen anything on videos either. So it's really hard for us to prepare, but do you know what? We got it. We got We're it. We're doing it one step at a time, one mile at a time. We got it. So hey, we're almost at 50. Yep, almost I just stopped to enjoy the wind. It came from up there. Going all the way over there around the ridge. But I just wanted to take in everything I could see. Even down. Listen to the birds. It's wonderful. But off I go. So, Oki, when two Montana girls from Goose Town are hot, and they come across a spring little waterfall. What do they do? They get wet. How do we get wet? Pour it on our head. Yeah, we pour, so we did. You can kind of see how we're dripping. We made sure we cooled off. We poured some water on our heads. We are enjoying this. We are looking for the best things to do, fun things to do. We don't get discouraged. We just keep on going. And now we're a little bit cooler. So that's great. We have um, probably two and a half miles or so before our day is a day that we're, well, for what our plan day is for today. So let me get off of here so we can get moving because we want to enjoy our evening without walking. Okay, so it's official. We have done 50 miles on the Appalachian Trail. There's supposed to be a spring right here. I think the spring's up just a little bit more, but I checked out hooks and we are at the 50 miles. So yay for us. We're still putting in a few more miles today, but we have completed 50 miles on the app, 50 AT miles, not counting any of the blue blazes, but 50 AT miles in a week. Not bad for being somebody who's injured, <laughs> rain, all kinds of different issues we had, but we're conquering those issues and we're going on and we're planning for more. Look at those darn little bugs flying all over the place. Ugh, bugs. Okay, so it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. We are at Blue Mountain Shelter. Got the Blue Blaze to have lunch and a nice view. So this is the view from Blue Mountain Shelter. This is the shelter itself. It's a single level shelter. Has a little table right there. Um, you can see how it goes back there. Little tent spots, fine trees for hammock spots. And you can do that all around right through here too. Tent spots, hammock spots, whatever you need. And then the little communal fire right here. So, you know, officially the shelters are closed. However, people have been staying in the shelters. Um, water is 1.1 miles downhill. That trail we just came up. So, it's a, it's a little trek to get water. Privy, I'm not quite sure where the privy is. It's around here somewhere. But right now, we're gonna get some lunch eaten because we've got two miles of rocks to go down to get down off this hill. Okay guys, we did it. 50, 80 miles, not counting our blue blazers. How do you feel, Oki? I'm tired. Tired. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, we, 50 miles, that's a big accomplishment. We are proud, we are happy. Those boulders getting up here sucked, but we got boulders going down, ugh. But 50 <laughs> miles, yay. So we, Left Blue Mountain Shelter. We had an incline for a little bit there. Now we've got a decline down here. We're like walking right along the top of the mountain right here, if you can see. We're right on the top of the mountain. You can see Oki down there. So after we hit the decline, we have 283 feet incline, straight up. Then we have 1,247 thousand feet, 1,247 feet decline, descent, that will be over huge boulders. So this is like a two mile trek should take us normally like an hour hour and a half but with the big boulders it's probably going to take us two hours so let me get off here and get to trekking so we can get off this darn hill 
We're coming down Blue Mountain. We're probably about a half a mile down. Um, we had to climb a little bit. I showed you that. Half a mile down. It's when the rocks are starting. Okie's down there. I wanted to take a break and get some video for y'all so you can see the trail. We are probably just a little more than a mile from Unicoi Gap. But this mile will be slow going as long as we have all the rocks. Yep. And Okie just said the bigger rocks are right there. Smaller rocks are here. So it's going to take us a little while to get down. It's harder sometimes to go down the rocks than it is up the rocks. So let me get to trekking. I'm not going to kid you, this has been a long mile. Look at that. Look at this stuff. This is what we are climbing down. So, we're trying to get way down there. We have a half a mile to go. And I'm not going to kid you guys, this is like hard on the knees. And I have that damaged knee, so it's even harder. I mean... This is, like every day, things get a little bit more challenging with different challenges, but it's a big mud puddle down there, so I better get off and catch up with Oki down there. So I'm sitting here with two through hikers. What's your names? I'm Linnea. I'm Chad. No, and where no are you? trail names yet. No trail names yet? <laughs> yet? Where are you from? I'm from Ohio. I'm from Tampa. Right, because we talked, because yeah. from, you're from Canal I'm Winchester. Like really so all my Ohio peeps, she's one of us, O-H-I-O. -O. So we're at Unicoi Gap, they're waiting for a ride, and we're waiting for rides. So I wish you guys luck, okay? Thank you. So guys, that concludes another day, and let me tell you, that was a rough day. Um, this is probably one of my hardest hikes I've ever done, and I think it's because it was a lot of up, not just the up, it was the up with huge rocks huge rocks that were just unbelievable hard to maneuver around and very technical hard rocks coming all the way down to um, a lot of elevation change my knee was already damaged so those rocks you know taking a brunt on your knees anyways so my knees a little bit more damaged I believe so we're taking a night in a hotel so I can ice it yep look see got ice on my knee and um, we're heading back out on the trail tomorrow because why? Because we're Montana girls and we can do that. <laughs> so stay tuned to see what we do. It'll probably be a shorter day tomorrow, only because you know we don't want to push things too hard, cause an injury that takes me off the trail and leaves Oki all by herself. So we're going to hit the trail tomorrow afternoon sometime. So stay tuned and see where we end up. Thanks guys for watching. As always, I love y'all.